Climate and health data are important to the global partnership because climate and health are important for the world. Information built with data is the tool that will help us to tackle the climate crisis, help us to make the right choices. Capacity Accelerator Network uh, is a really important program uh, for us because then uh, it's providing the opportunity, uh, first of all, to provide experiential training, uh, empower um, uh, our partners with the technical skills really needed to apply new tools and methods when it comes to data science. Now, beyond the experiential training, uh, we also have um, uh, data fellowships, uh, and data fellowships are important in, in, in two aspects. Um, number one, they bring in skill sets of people who are really trained and are really good at data science. Uh, they're experts when it comes to like data science skills. Um, currently, we've been able to identify a pilot area, which is um, the Amber community, in Nasarawa states, they face an issue of land degradation and we as the Global Dialogue Forum team, our mission is to go to this community, identify the land degradation in that community, the drivers of land degradation, um, how the people have been able to adapt, what has worked for them, what is not working and how we can come in and, you know, assist in helping them uh, build resilience or combat the effects of land degradation. Our major project is more of uh, building resilience in uh, communities, thereby reducing uh, land uh, degradation. For a project like this, which is related to, the, to disaster management, I think this is very, very hard. The fellow came with uh, an expertise in data science which has helped us to understand what is actually happening in Amber Forest. With the help of NASDA and the fellow, they have looked at what has been happening in the Amber community for the past 30 years. You find civil society organizations that are working in the water sector or in the environment sector or in the health sector um, now being given the opportunity uh, and uh, sub-grants to actually work on use cases with government officials and the data scientists. So we have a set of activities for this uh, particular use case and the grants will help us in implementing the project in this community. It will also help us to build in capacity of other stakeholders around earth land degradation and around earth observation data. One of the really exciting things about bringing climate data and health data together is seeing how that can be used to make people's lives better. We're working with governments, with social impact organisations, with academics on issues like cholera, issues like malnutrition, and seeing how by bringing that health data together with data on the change in climate, we can better understand where outbreaks are happening, where problems are developing, and how to fix them. On the cholera cases, and I've been able to model cholera occurrence in Yobe State using the data given to me. I developed so many modules in data science, such as advanced Microsoft Excel, um, using GitHub version for collaborative and project management. Them coming together means that, you know, we are broadly really strengthening, growing and strengthening the data ecosystem um, around a particular area with very practical skills and a story to tell. And that, in a sense, uh, creates an element of sustainability in terms of continued partnerships uh, and, and, and these partners um, um, really working together uh, to, to resolve the challenges that face us.